Let's try this. Let's get a little here. Go from the bottom. And that's what I was telling you before. That can pierce the skin on the bottom. Everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Friels here. I have a young lady here who unfortunately has some thicker nails. Um, we've got some fungus and also it looks like maybe at some point you've had some trauma to the nail. Um, and you can see on the big toenails here, they've even started kind of growing up to the sky. So what we're gonna do today is get her all trimmed up, do all the dremeling, smooth it down, and then get you lotioned up. And we already discussed, we've got a little bit of athlete's foot on the bottom of the nails that we're going to call in a foot soak. So you don't have to apply cream or anything like that. You'll soak your feet um, in this solution that has an antifungal, antibacterial, softening agent, things like that. Mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Start over here, here on the left foot. How long has it been since they were trimmed? Do you know? Oh, yeah. That can pierce the skin on oh. the bottom. I've had people come in where it's actually an ingrown toenail on the bottom of the toe. So we're, um, this one's kind of a little curly cue, so we're gonna go ahead and get that all trimmed back. Make sure that doesn't happen. Okay. The most important thing is to go nice and slow. You don't ever wanna grab that skin underneath because that hurts. I mean, we try to not do that as much as possible, but sometimes you just can't see what's under there. So it takes a little longer to trim the nail, but definitely worth just taking it nice and slow. You're not having any pain, are you? No pain. Well, I'm not in the business of torture. I don't want you to be hurting. Okay, this is a little thicker on the end. This just tells me there's more fungal buildup that's extended more towards the end of the nail underneath. If you have, you know anyone at home, family, loved one, friend, a lot of people don't know that podiatrists trim toenails like this and we do all day long. Especially if you're a diabetic you, or have poor circulation. And most people don't know that it, um, most of the time is covered by your insurance. So you don't need to take an at-risk patient to um, get a pedicure. Call your local podiatrist and they can get all this taken care of for them. So, so far so good. So take a look at this one. So this looks like impacted fungus. So let's see what we need to do. So I just really try to find an opening anywhere where I can grab to start. And if you're at home and not able to get to the doctor, these nippers, of course, you don't want these because they're a little too strong for your purposes. <laughs> yeah, this one's hard, isn't it? I'm gonna move this foot towards me. Let's see. Um, but you can get nippers with this similar shape. And what I like to do is just get that tip of them in any crevice that will allow. When they're fungal, they kind of just have their own shape. So it's really, um, there's no, like you can't say trim them straight across because that just doesn't apply. You can see here it's just crumbling. So it's like the fungus has just completely taken over the nail. Technically, I guess the nail is there, but it's more just kind of a, a mountain of fungus that you gotta slowly just trim away. How are you doing over there? Am I making, am I grossing you out? I'm just, by talk? I'm zoning out. <laughs> You're zoning out. <laughs> we have it on good authority. She does not want to watch, so we're blocking her assistant. We'll call her your assistant. How's that? Okay, gotta keep going at it. Take your time.
think that one went off the ceiling. <laughs> That's the best part about wearing the mask for us because, yeah. you know, in my younger days, I had a uh, one go in my mouth. Oh, no. I'll never gross. forget that. <laughs> well, the best part was is trying to keep my composure and not appear grossed out in front of the patient. Could you imagine <laughs> if, if you were on that end and that happened? I don't even think the patient noticed. Needless to say, it was the one and only time that ever happened. Okay, I can start to feel it's getting a little softer. That tells me we're getting closer to the nail bed. And we've gotten a significant amount of this. I mean, the before and after is gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm not hurting you, am I? Just wanna check in with you. Okay. You're so quiet. Well, I'm fascinated. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I was going to be able to get this much of the nail off? Well, yeah, because I figured professional people didn't have anything. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, it's interesting how these are just kind of just going straight up um, in the air. I can see wearing shoes would be a challenge. Yeah. Okay, this one almost looks reversed. Can you get that side view? How? That's completely, so sometimes we're thinking, well, how do we grab that? So let's try this. Let's get a little here, go from the bottom. And that's why I was telling you before, you know, trimming them straight across or whatever the textbook says, sometimes you just gotta grab what you can as long as it's not skin. That one almost looked like a little dog claw, you know, <laughs> like it real. I guess if podiatry doesn't work out for me, I can get a job at a vet's office trimming animals' nails. Although I trimmed my cats one time and, I, and wouldn't you know it, I got the skin. And I never trimmed them again. I was, <laughs> felt, I was mortified. We always seem to have one bleed from our dog. Uh huh. Okay. I'm good. Get. A little bit more. So hopefully we can kind of be consistent and do this every couple of months and we will yes. not have to worry about getting all of this, which is so much more comfortable um, for our patient. Not to have to be tortured like this. Be real careful because this skin, it's real thin, especially if you don't have good blood flow. You don't want to nip somebody because that can take a long time to heal. Increases risk for infection. Increases uh, for a long-term non-healing ulcer. That increases your risk for bone infection. Relax that foot for me. You're holding it just as stiff as you can. <laughs> okay, so let's pull this toe down. Go straight down the center here. What it's going to do is split in its natural area. So we can. Okay, I'm just going to loosen your foot up just a little bit. There is one question. Huh? I'd like right now, underneath those toenails, uh -huh. there's oh, quite. Uh, yes, that's the fungus. Well, I was wondering about that. Remember, Dr. St. Clair said there was some fungus. Yeah, and the fungus is just kind of pulling all those nails up. Some have it worse than others. With your circulation, I think it's best just to do what we call maintenance, is trim them, mm -hmm. as opposed to get involved in, the, you know, a, a heavier medication um, called Lamacil, I think. The, uh, because of the circulation, you know, we really don't know how much of the medicine is traveling down here anyway. Excuse me. Oh, you're fine. Sorry. No worries. Now, if that was normal, it wouldn't have that fungus underneath it, would it? Correct. So 
So this is actually some callusing on the skin. I'm just trying to get a hold of with my nippers because it's so thick. My daughter, or her granddaughter after this, would like to take her to uh, um, uh, what am I? Uh, pedicure. Uh-huh. you think that would be? You know. Okay, here we go. Let's get all these rough edges. Does it tickle at all? Are you doing okay? I'm doing fine. Oh, okay. well, I did fine. This is called a Dremel, or a little electric file. And what we're doing is just getting all those rough edges down so they don't catch on any of your hose or a sock or anything like that. So I'd love to know if any podiatrists are watching, do you actually do the electric file in your office or hand files? I've heard and seen both. Obviously, hand files way more time intensive, but we use um, basically disposable grit uh, file paper, so we don't have to worry about contamination. But a lot of people are, are, you know, are concerned about the years and years of nail dust being potentially in the lungs. So, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So a lot of podiatrists who refuse to do it. Others uh, don't mind, but we've got masks on, so I'm not really too concerned, but hopefully it's getting the majority of it. So what we're gonna do, once we get all this smoothed down, is get a um, washcloth and really get in between the toes and get any debris that could be, uh, you okay? Does that tickle a little bit? It did. <laughs> okay, I'll hold your foot. Sometimes if you watch, it makes it worse. So try not to watch. <laughs> Why do you stand in front just a little bit like you were? Oh. There we go. Doesn't hurt though, right? That don't feel good. Oh no. There we go. Maybe it was just that little toe that a little more sensitive. Almost there. Your feet have got to be feeling good at this point though, overall. Okay. Last one. All that dust coming off the, from the skin, too. Okay. A little bit more. And don't forget to really soak those feet before you come in next time for me, okay? Now make them nice and soft. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. Get the tray. Okay. So let's now get you all cleaned up, and then we will get you lotioned up. She said she thought they were beautiful. <laughs> you know what? I think they're beautiful too. <laughs> yeah, you can just relax that foot a little bit as much as you can. Well, your shoes are gonna be a lot more comfortable. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll get you some new shoes. I made the turtle mistake of Mom, the, your mask up. No. <laughs> thinking toenails aren't important, but they are. You are exactly right. Mom. Toenails are very important. Mom, keep your mask up. Okay. Yeah. 
a little lemongrass. Is this the peppermint? I can't smell it with the mask lemon on it. Grass. Lemongrass. So it's a lemongrass sage lotion. Wow. So it's got antifungal properties in there and it should be pretty refreshing. And so what I'll do is just put this on and let you sit here for a minute so we can let that lotion just kind of absorb into the skin. The skin was a little dry, so I'd like to call in something to your pharmacy, okay? okay. It's gonna be a great hydrating uh, cream. It's called Lachhydrin or Ammonium Lactate. Okay. What, um, we have your pharmacy here on file, so. Yeah, we're working with All right, everybody. All in another's day work here at Lexington <laughs> Podiatry. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment below, follow the channel, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. I'll see you next time.